like what is it i don't know i don't care because i love it and it's amazing hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing the five products that i used and loved during autumn plus one bonus product that i started using technically in winter after autumn but it's such a favorite that i still wanted to include it this video is going to be a bit of a long one so let's just jump right into it the first product on this list which you will definitely recognize if you have watched any of my Grand Canary videos if you've not watched my Grand Canary videos please do check those out that was a really fun birthday trip and it took me so long to edit so please do give that a watch but the first product on my list is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Guernsey Deep One this tinted moisturizer really saved my life on that trip because about halfway through the trip I finished my Dermalogica Prisma Protect sunscreen and because this tinted moisturizer is SPF 30 PA++++ I just use this as a facial sunscreen pretty much for the whole trip slash foundation type product it gave me coverage it gave me sun protection and it gave me clear glowy bright dewy looking skin my skin wasn't congested my skin felt really good throughout the day plus it was easy to reapply when I'm on holiday I don't really want to be looking too much like I'm wearing makeup I want to look fresh faced and natural but because I don't have the best skin i've got discoloration dark spots sometimes i personally just want to look a bit more even and i just want to look better basically and i think a foundation can sometimes be a bit too heavy and a bit too much and you just look a bit too done but a tinted moisturizer just it looks a lot more natural i found so i really enjoyed using this on that trip and then when I got back from Gran Canaria, my Estee Lauder foundation actually finished. And while I was debating about whether I should rebuy the Estee Lauder foundation or try a new foundation, side note, I did actually rebuy the Estee Lauder foundation. I was using this tinted moisturizer just in place of it because you know I was still going to work, I was still leaving the house, and I just really liked how this looked. I'm wearing it right now, and you can really see like it looks really natural skin looks glowy skin looks good because i have actually found the right shade for my skin tone it matches really well like it matches my hand uh it matches with my neck it just looks good it's an all-rounder and i could wear this to work i wore this to a concert um like i said on holiday sometimes working from home it's funny because i don't really wear makeup at home unless i'm going out or filming a video but i will sometimes just Put this on when i'm working from home just if i feel like i want a bit more coverage and i think having the option of having something lightweight at home i feel like i can put it on whereas i would never really think to put on foundation if i'm really not going out because it just i don't know i see foundation as almost like an elevated product that you don't wear unless you properly need to wear it does that make sense i don't know if that makes sense but anyway i feel like because this is a moisturizer and it's a lot more lightweight and it's quite sheer the coverage isn't there 100 you can get away with putting on a lot more of this on your face to use a sun protection compared to a foundation where you can't really put on like two cups of foundation on your face because that would look ridiculous i feel like you can do that with this because it is so sheer and so lightweight and yeah this is amazing i'm gonna have all of the information on this down below in my description box plus links to shop this if you are curious about the price if you are my skin tone i would say i would definitely go with guernsey i have tried marrakesh and havana both of those were way too light for me and they made me look ashy and pale and horrible i looked like a piece of vomit i didn't like it at all but guernsey's one for me will i be rebuying this yes this is such a handy product to have like i said on the days where you don't want to wear foundation you want to look a bit more natural you're going on holiday you don't want to bring so much stuff with you this is a great product to have even though i did say that the coverage isn't 100 percent there it is very buildable i have a ton of like dark spots all over my face but but it's pretty much i mean it's not all covered because you can still see bits but it's pretty much covered up and that is just from using this tinted moisturizer this is 
essentially all that I have on my face. So the coverage is definitely buildable. I think this is also great for if you do have dark spots, discoloration, you're a bit insecure about what your skin looks like. And so you feel like, oh, I can't give up the foundation. Cause that was definitely me. I was like, I cannot give up the foundation because how am I gonna cover up my face? But this has done an amazing job of covering it up and it's amazing. So the next item on my list is the Devine's Oil All-in-One Milk. This has Raoku Oil. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. This is a multi-benefit beauty treatment for all hair types. I got this in my, I got this in, I don't know when I got this. You know, I think I got this in my August Liberty London beauty drop box and I hadn't planned on really using it because I find that when products say they're for all hair types and you receive them in a certain environment, I always question whether it is actually suitable for all hair types or if it is more for like the one, two and three B kind of hair textures, not really for 4C hair textures. So I always, you know, I'm just a bit skeptical. Like, oh, will this actually work for my hair type? Will it work for me, essentially? And I was very surprised at this. Like I said, I hadn't intended to use it, but when I went to Nigeria, just in terms of the liquid limits and not being able to take all of my hair things, this was the only hair product that I had that was small. And so I just chucked it in my bag, not really thinking much of it. But I ended up really, really, really loving this like it smelled really nice it kept my scalp hydrated it kept my braids hydrated it kept my braids looking really fresh really good like my hair felt my hair felt good my scalp felt good my hair strap like it just felt good and i was very surprised at this and that is why it's on the list because i just didn't think that it would do much for my hair in fact i kind of thought it might even dry my hair out but it did not do that i have the tiniest amount left which just shows you how much i was using it i was using this a lot so on the back it says multi-benefit fluid for all hair types add shine add softness and silkiness gives body without weighing hair down moisturizes hair facilitates blow drying it also has heat protection and helps hairstyles to last for longer so yeah this is basically a miracle in a bottle and if you're going away this is 50 ml i'm not sure if this is a sample size or the full size but yeah if you're going away like this is really all that you need to take with you for your hair because it will do a bit of everything. And this is genuinely for all hair types. I was really not expecting anything from this at all, but this really delivered and this helped me in such a pinch. So will I actually buy this? Yes, I will buy this because it's great. It's amazing. It's such like a nice thing to have to hand. You can literally just like put it in your bag and take around with you. So if you are out and about during the day and you feel like your hair needs a bit more body or whatever, you can just, spritz this on your hair and then you're good to go and it doesn't take too much to like set on your hair so yeah i'm very surprised at this i was not expecting to like this the moment i saw this in the box i was like i will never use this but pleasantly surprised and i've loved it so much that it made it onto my autumn favorites list next we have the charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light wand in the shade pink gasm i bought this specifically for my grand canaria holiday and I loved it. <laughs> Obviously I loved it because it's on this list. My main brief for going to Grand Canaria makeup wise was I wanted to look supernatural, but I wanted to look glowy and pink and golden. And this ticked all of those boxes. This gave me glow, this gave me color, this gave me blush, this gave me a mini bronze, this gave me healthy looking holiday luxury paradise amazing this is 29 pounds i remember that when i was looking into this though there were a couple of comments that said that this is a great product but there's not a lot of product in the tube and some people were saying it was a waste of money blah, blah 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 so the very first time i used it everything was fine it came out really well the next time i used it i couldn't get a single thing out of the tube and i was really thinking don't tell me i spent 29 pounds just to use this once but then the third time when i used it i gave it a squeeze gave it a bit of a whack about and then the product came out as normal so i will say that if you will be using this just make sure that you are squeezing it effectively and making sure that all the product is coming down towards the end end of the product I guess so that it will come out efficiently. The more you put on the more megawatt pizzazz fab it looks. So if you want more of a subtle look then you probably won't put that much on. But that said I did find that when I blended it out it really sheared out and it wasn't that intense and it wasn't that powerful so I think you do need a lot 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 of this if you want to look 
So if you are a bit scared of looking a bit too much, a bit too crazy, a bit too over the top, just know that when you blend this out, especially if you blend this out with the same beauty blender, sponge or brush that you use to do your foundation, that leftover pigment from your foundation will help to blend this out a bit and like tone it down a bit. What I love about this also is when you pull this off, this has a nice furry nib and you basically just like turn it, lift it up and then it will open up. So I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit and just put a bit on my cheeks. I'm wearing a bit of blush today already. You see, like that. Like that, and it's like a, a bit has come out. Let me get a brush. <laughs> and I've got my sponge here. I'm just gonna like blend that out a little bit. It's nice, you can see it doesn't really do too, too much because I'm really wearing blush. So it's not making me look really any different. You can use this as a highlighter or as a blush. And I just put that literally. Ooh, that's delicious. Look at that. Oh, love it. Just put that under there. And it's just like, like it's just nice. You see, I don't really look that much different, but then again, I was wearing blush before. <laughs> so yeah, it just gives you like, it's, adds a bit more of a shine. I'm not gonna lie, it does give you a bit more pizzazz. But on a grey gloomy day, it is raining right now. So on a day like this, you just wanna look a bit more awake, bring a bit more Christmas cheer. Really can't go wrong with this. You could wear this to work, you could literally wear this anytime you like, really. Also, when I was on holiday, I put this on my eyelids. So I wore this as eyeshadow as well, blush, highlight. You can really do what you want with it, make it your own. I don't know if I would buy this again because it is 29 pounds and I don't know, to be fair, I love it. But I don't re-buy really love it. I think if I was to buy this again, I might go, I've seen a couple of dupes for this. I think that um, Revolution, I think, have a version of this that's cheaper. I think Iconic London has a version of this that's cheaper. So I'd probably buy this somewhere else or I would wait for this to be on offer. I know that Cold Beauty is always having some discount. ASOS, I think this is on ASOS as well, is always having a discount. But you know what, no, I think I would actually buy this again because I love it. <laughs> I think just for the price, 29 pounds, I don't really spend money like that on products like this. I think I would spend 29 pounds on like a mascara, a foundation. Those are really the only two products I'm like, I would spend the big bucks on this, but on a blush, I'm like, mm, seems a bit too much to spend on a blush, if that makes sense. Even though I do love my blushes, but anyway. I sell that to say, I like it, this is nice, and they have a bunch of other colours which I would like to try. So maybe I would buy this again, but just to try the other colours. I went with Pink Gasm because it seemed the most natural. I think there's a theme here, I like my makeup to look natural, I don't want to look too crazy, I don't like to wear colour on my face. You will never catch me in crazy colours. The only colours I will wear on my face is like brown, orange, pink, red, but like a very muted natural looking red. Those are the colours that I wear on my face. So this looked the most natural out of all of the colours that they had that would complement my skin tone a lot more and that wouldn't look too ashy either. But I do want to try the other colours, so watch this space. And this also works really well with the NARS Orgasm blush. Oh my God. Those two blushes together, an elite combination. It's funny because right now that's what I'm wearing. So I have the NARS blush on underneath, but this on top, it just, it's just, ugh. it's taken this makeup to a whole nother level. Oh God. Oh God, guys, I'm literally about to die. I love this. I love this so much. This is amazing. Okay. Next product before I go waffling on. <laughs> Next we have another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. To be fair, I still don't know what this is. Is it a concealer? Is it a primer? Is it a tinted moisturizer? Is it a foundation? Like, what is it? I don't know. I don't care because I love it and it's amazing. I, I don't know. It's really good. I got this. I got this a while ago. I have a video on me actually unboxing it and using it for the first time. So I will have that link below in case you wanna check that out. I love this because this acts as a base to your foundation. So how I wear this is once I've done all of my skincare products, I will put this on, blend it out, and then I will put my foundation on the top and then do the rest of my makeup routine. And this gives your face a really nice, healthy, natural looking glow. And it just looks like you are lit from within. It just makes you look so much more like one, What's the word? 
like you just look a lot more put together. My only comment on this is that I cannot wear this by itself. It says that you can wear this with foundation, without foundation. I have to wear this with foundation because if I wear this without foundation, like it just doesn't look good. Maybe if I got a darker color, then I could wear it without foundation, but for the 6.5 deep that I have, I need to wear foundation on top of this because it just makes me look ashy, a bit sickly and not that good. But once I've put on foundation on the top, chef's kiss, it looks amazing. I wore this in Gran Canaria on holiday. It helped to bring my holiday makeup dreams to life because I looked so glowy and so bronzy and it worked really well with the tan that I got. I miss that tan. I know that e.l.f. has a version of this that I want to try. That's on my wish list at the moment. But I do want to try the e.l.f. version just to see what that's like. Would I buy this again? I don't know. But if I don't buy this again, I will definitely get the foundation version of this because I love the bottle, I love the lid. Is that a reason to want to try something? I don't know. I also really like that this has a massive applicator it's so big it's so soft it feels really nice on the skin so i think even if i didn't rebuy this exact one again i think i'd still want to get the foundation just to have the same applicator i was never into charlotte tilbury a lot of my friends have really liked charlotte tilbury but i never really found charlotte tilbury until this year and just charlotte tilbury everywhere so i do want to try out a lot more of her products but this hollywood flaws filter is really good the next thing on the list this is the penultimate ultimate item so the last item that I was loving and super obsessed with over the autumn was the Autor enzyme cleanser I think it's been a while since I've talked about Autor guys this is by far the most expensive product cleanser anything that I think I've ever put on my body and oh my god it is amazing i was talking about this so much in my grand canaria vlog and videos this is such an amazing cleanser and i have used not that many to be fair i've only used a couple of enzyme powdered cleansers but this is by far the best one that i've used it feels so nice so luxurious i can see why this is what 175 pounds because wow it is really good it is nice and gentle on the face it feels it just feels really nice on the skin it cleans your skin really well it doesn't irritate it gives you a nice glow afterwards it doesn't dry your skin out it works really well with a bunch of other skincare products as well as skincare products from the auto definitive line i don't know what else there is to say about this i just really love it and i've had to <gasps> Oh my god, no, that's actually horrible. I didn't realize it was open. It's literally just like gone all over me. Great, I'm gonna have to vacuum that. It even smells nice. Although it's got a kind of like old lady smell to it. Old lady perfume smell to it, which you know, it is what it is. That literally just opened all over the bed. <laughs> great aside from this literally like go everywhere it is packed with so many ingredients so many great benefits this helps with brightening your skin cleaning your skin cleaning your pores this helps with pollution this helps with dark spots hyperpigmentation uneven skin tone uneven texture this helps with the first signs of aging so think fine lines wrinkles this this small but mighty thing is amazing and will i buy this Yes, I definitely will. And this will by far be the most expensive product I have ever bought to put on my face, but it will be worth it because it's just so amazing. And I have loved using all of Autos skincare products. So they actually sent me a bunch of stuff. I think like September time, they sent me a bunch of products. September, October time, they sent me a bunch of products and I've loved it all. And it actually was a lot for me to not include every single Auto skincare product in this skincare roundup because I genuinely did love every item. And as of today, I have finished all but two products. Actually, no, I've got four products left. So I've got the optimizing mask, the hyaluron activator, the enzyme cleanser, and the definitive eye cream. And oh my God, their things are amazing. They are super expensive though. So you definitely need to save your pennies before you attempt to even go onto the website because everything is super expensive. But there has been so much science and thought and care and love and research and definitely 
feel that and you see that when you use their products and you start to see results. Granted, you won't see results straight away because like with most things, you do need to wait for that like 28 days skin cycle before you start seeing results. But after about a month of using their products, I was noticing that my face looks so much brighter. My skin texture had reduced. I've got a lot of texture on my nose, but that has really gone down. I'm looking a lot more like vibrant, a lot more awake. Now that I am 30 years old, I'm gonna keep saying this. <laughs> For the rest of my life. But now that I am 30 years old, I'm looking for products that will target anti-aging, brightness, pollution, dark spots. I really want to find more products that will tackle all of those things so that I can use a lot less products. And I think Autor is the best place to start. The only negative thing, if you don't know, <laughs> is the price. Autor is ridiculously expensive, but you know what? I'm just gonna have to start saving. I'm gonna have to start a separate Autor savings account just so I can be rebuying their products. Autor, I hate that I love them so much. Okay guys, we have reached the last item. This is a bonus item because technically I didn't get this until the beginning of winter, which was November. But I had to include this because I have been using and loving this product for the longest time, literally for the past month. <laughs> and it has truly saved my life. Is that dramatic? It's a bit dramatic. It's made me feel a lot more complete, less insecure, which is a very big thing. I think products that can make you feel less insecure and a bit more confident and a bit more yourself are really hard to come by. So the product in question is the Glossier Boy Brow. <laughs> It's funny because after the introduction, I felt it was a tiny bit dramatic, but hear me out. This item, it's very small compared to all of the other products that I have showed you today. This is by far the smallest of them all and also the cheapest of them all. I think this is about 15 pounds. Guys, let me tell you a short story. When I was in Gran Canaria, I caught a glimpse of myself and I noticed that one of my eyebrows was I'm gonna insert a picture so you can see what it looked like. I don't know where it went. I don't know what it was doing. I don't know what had happened, but basically I spent pretty much the rest, the whole of the holiday <laughs> complaining to my sister about my eyebrow and I don't know where my eyebrow's gone. Like, how do I fix it? What do I do? Like, what can I use? I was freaking out, which is so funny because if you have watched my videos, then you will know that I never do my eyebrows. My eyebrows are not a thing that I think about. I don't ever think about my eyebrows. I've never owned an eyebrow product. I've never done anything to my eyebrows, literally never in my life. So you can imagine getting to be 30. <laughs> there I go again. So you can imagine getting to be 30 and suddenly you have this whole new thing that you've never had to think about before that now you suddenly have to think about because you're like, oh my God, where the F has my eyebrow gone? Anyway, fast forward to when we return, I was looking into some eyebrow products and there is an eyebrow pen that my sister uses from NYX, which she really likes and I was going to buy that but then I think the reality of how do I actually use this struck me and so because like, I'm not really sure if I would know how to use this I turned to Glossier it's funny because I have seen a billion and one reviews tutorials using the boy brow so I've heard of it but I just never really thought much about it because like I said I've never needed to because my eyebrows have always been not a thing so I bought this and guys this literally changed my life it sounds a bit dramatic but it's definitely not dramatic because the way that i was feeling beforehand and compared to how i feel now is just completely night and day and this really did genuinely change my life i felt like i could go out in public again i just felt a lot more i just felt like me and i think like i said before i really do think that when you find products that make you feel more confident and they make you feel more like yourself you really have to hold on to those products and not let them go because that is a completely priceless, obviously they cost stuff, that's just a completely priceless feeling and you can't put a price on how something will make you feel. Wow, <laughs> that is a lot to say about a tiny thing like this. But no, but honestly, it's so great. I'm wearing this today, I'm wearing it today and you can see like my eyebrows, obviously I like my face to look natural. So I've not done too much to my brows and they just kind of look natural. You probably wouldn't know that I was even wearing anything on my brows because this is what my brows looked like before. And what I love about the boy brow is you can amp it up, you can tone it down. It is completely idiot proof. And when I say idiot proof, I mean 
idiot proof from the girl that had never done anything to her eyebrows before like I don't know eyebrows I watch all of the makeup videos I watch all of the makeup tutorials and I see how the girls are doing their brows and they are they're such artists they're such an artistry to the brow but I am not an artist I barely know how to do my makeup I'm very simple so when I say that this is idiot proof this is even for a girl like me who cannot do all of the like whizzing and wowing kind of thing. It's very easy to use. The wand is very similar to a mascara wand, which I think is also what appealed to me as well because it's very easy to use. So when you go on the brow, you just kind of just go over the top like that and it's like very easy and you can make your eyebrows like i said as thick as you want you can make your eyebrows look super bushy super big depending on what your style of brow is i suppose depending on what look you want you can create it using this and if you do find that you've gone a bit too much you could just like clean it literally with just your finger or i guess if you've got the concealer and a brush you can properly clean it up but if you're like me and you're lazy you're in a rush you don't have all the time to all of the gizmos you can literally just use your finger or better yet you can use the wand the wand i found is really good for cleaning up the hairs and stuff on your brow i'm gonna actually film a full video on this even though there are already a million videos out there but i'm gonna film a full video on this so that i can explain more what i'm talking about now but yeah it's just an amazing 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 product it's so simple so easy to use and once you've put it on your face like once i put this on my face in the morning i never think about it like i can't feel it on my face it's not peeling it's not cracking it's not itching it's not really anything the only time i really notice this is when i'm looking in the mirror and i'm just like Ooh. For a split second, I like forget that I've got eyebrows on, but it also looks natural and it looks normal. Like this is what my brows look like. Will I rebuy this? Hell yeah. <laughs> like, of course. When this finishes, I'm gonna buy two more of these and then just keep a spare one because I cannot imagine being without this. One thing I will also add before I forget that I've noticed with the boy brow is because I've worn it so much, when I'm not wearing it, I feel like my eyebrows have grown in. I don't actually know what is in here. I think they must have some kind of growth serum or some kind of nourishing balm or something but i have definitely noticed that these days when i'm not wearing this my eyebrows still look full my eyebrows also look a lot blacker and a lot darker than they looked before i started wearing this so i don't know if this also like tints or stains your natural brow hairs or not but i have definitely noticed that when i'm not wearing this my eyebrows still look really dark and they're a bit more filled in but yeah i need to look more into actually what ingredients are in this because it would be amazing if this is also growing out my eyebrows as well because that would be freaking amazing okie dokie guys so that is my list of autumn and winter skincare favorites complete i've really loved using all of these products these have just been amazing literally from august to october these were the products that i could not put down they all did such an amazing job for me and i love them so much and if you have tried any of these i'd love to know which ones you loved the most and why so yeah that is all from me in today's video don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and in the meantime i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.